this morning I'm making lasagna, Slimming World Friendly. So I've got some Fry Light one calorie spray, some corn mints, a tin of chopped tomatoes, some mushrooms, I need to give them a wash because they've got some dirt on them still. I'd usually use loads more mushrooms than that but that's all I've got left so just making use. Um, some garlic, probably use about two or three cloves, some meat free beef, um, oxo, found this, really I used to use, it's disappeared, I did have some, some vegan stock but it's gone and I don't know where, hey ho, <laughs> oh well, so yeah we're using that today. Some dark soy sauce, two onions, some tomatoes, again I'd usually use more than that but that's all I've got. I've already chopped the ends off the courgette so we're using the big courgette. And then for the white sauce on the lasagna, um, I've got some of this fat free cottage cheese from Tesco that I'm going to blend up. Um, I'm going to use some herbs and some spices but I've not got them out yet. And also, I know there's onion sheets in there too. Yes. There's some lasagna sheets. So I'll be using those today. Chop the mushrooms. And they're going into a pan. Oh, it's on a little bit too high. But they're going into a pan. Just to brown off a little bit. And then go the onions. So I've just added the rest of the onions in there, so they're just simmering away nicely. Now I'm going to pop some courgettes in. Excuse the lighting, the light's behind me and above and it's not great. I need to sort my lighting out for these sorts of uh, vlogs. I will. So now the courgettes and the mushrooms and the onions are in, I'm going to add some cracked black pepper. and some crushed sea salt just to season a little bit I'm just going to let that simmer just brown off slightly now just to give it a little bit more substance to cook the corn mince also I didn't mention before but I'm actually putting lentils in this uh, recipe so these are green lentils they have been washed in the sieve and they are going in with the rest of the ingredients I must say I only put these in once I've got quite a lot of liquid in there because I don't want them to burn on the bottom of the pan with the dry ingredients. But yeah, just give those a mix and then next we're going to put the stock in and the corn mince. This is the packaging that the green lentils came in. Don't know if I got them from Aldi, the foodie market or quality say, I can't quite remember. But I'll find out and I'll pop it up um, on here hopefully. Natural and strong, harvested to capture the full wholesome flavour, high in fibre um, and high in protein, one of your five a day. So yeah, they're brilliant for a Slimming World style meal to fill you up. So I've now put two um, of these meat free vegan oxo beef flavour cubes into the jug and it's one cube per 100ml. So I've put two cubes in and I'm going to do 300 ml. I know it's 100 over but we've got a lot of flavour in there already. I just need a little bit more um, liquid. Let's add the stock. So that's the lot. So I'm just going to bob the lid on there now. 10-15 minutes just to simmer on a medium heat. 
once the vegetables have all softened and the lentils have started to soften, I'm going to take the lid off and I'm going to add in the corn mince. I'm going to throw the whole lot in here because it is sin free, so why not? is still frozen. Oh, this lighting's not good. I do apologise. I'm going to give it a good mix. So everything's now coated with the liquid. I'm just going to put the lid back on and leave that for another 10 minutes on medium heat. Okay, so I've just emptied two of these Tesco fat-free cottage cheese tubs into a jug and I'm going to use a hand blender to give them a good blend. Now, as you can see, it's got like a lovely thick sort of double cream consistency to it. That's going to be the, I can never say it, is it Belchamel? Belchamel? <laughs> the white sauce for the top of the lasagna. I start to put the lasagna into the tray bake I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of dark soy sauce just to add to the flavour and then give it a good mix before I pop it on I've just put the first layer in the bottom of the dish so now I'm just going to pop some lasagna sheets over that and then do another layer Okay, same again, another layer of lasagna sheets. And the same again, another layer of the filling. So, this um, cottage cheese is now like a um, sort of a double cream consistency. So what we're gonna do is pop it over this final layer of um, lasagna sheets. Throw it on like that. Okay, so we've spread the cottage cheese mixture over there now. And now I'm just going to add some Italian seasoning over the top like that. Oh, you'll have to excuse this lighting. I know I've mentioned it multiple times, but it's driving me mad now. <laughs> so in this, there is... Rosemary, basil, oregano, thyme, black pepper and garlic. Put it in the oven for 30 minutes on around 180. Just see how we go um, and once it starts browning off and bubbling um, the sauce around the outside, it should be good to go. So once you start getting these like sort of cracks in the cottage cheese, it's time to put on your um, choice of grated cheese. So I'm going to put on 60 grams of cheddar. Um, that will be two healthy extra A's but this portion is obviously six good size portions so divide that up and we'll work it out okay here we go it back in the oven still on 180 for about 10 minutes till the cheese started to brown and go lovely and crispy and this is how it looked voila as time goes by <laughs> 